Yo, what it dooski, Teddy Brewski, what's the deal, Shaquille O'Neal? What's the motherfucking word, Larry Bird? You already know what it is, man. It's your boy Reactions. We back with another one. Remo's Reactions TV. Um, want to thank Time Out, man. We got to keep giving a shout out to the new subscribers, man. Everything's going up. Shout out to YouTube for fucking with me. And, uh, you know, all this shit here that I do is for entertainment and educational purposes. That's my disclaimer. And um, these are my opinions, man. So, um, if y'all got anything going on, please let me know. You know, <clears throat> I'm one of the ones that do follow back. You know what I'm saying? And support everybody that support me. That's what it's about. For real, for real. And, uh, uh, you know, we're on the road to 5K, man. We reached our 1K goal. Now it's 5K. Then we're going to go to 10K. And then we're going to spike that motherfucker up to, uh, shit, what's the one? 950K today. You hear me? So, get down in the comment section. You know, please voice your opinion. That's what we're here for. I ain't always right. People that doing the videos ain't always right. Y'all might see shit that we don't pick up on. And feel free to get down there and put that shit in the comments, man. Please and thank you. You feel me? <clears throat> Do me that motherfucking solid. So, um, you know, we still on our, our Rich Homie Quan. Rest in peace to Rich Homie Quan. Much love and condolences to the family. Um... This video is pretty much, man, like, um, a lot of people think someone's lying. 20% battery, it ain't nothing. Um, so we finna see what's going on. They saying they both lying. I was, I was believing the pop at first, <clears throat> and I still do believe that his, you know, he's genuine with his, how he feels, and, I, and who am I, but out of everybody, the pop looked the most hurt. So let's see what this video is about, man. Remo's Reaction TV. Hit that like button. Subscribe. He was talking military. You know, I always treat people the way you want to be treated. I can't. I can't. I'm not at liberty to speak on it. I understand. Because I, I don't know. My, my son could have died from something else. So that's something okay. I would not speak on. I got you. But, Has this one, but, but once the results are available and I do a second. You just said my son could have died from something else. I don't know. So I can't give you that answer. Okay. Rich you homie Quan's passing me. has everyone asking questions, especially his father, Corey Lamar. Corey isn't buying the story that's being pushed right now, and he's out here confronting both Quan's girlfriend, Amber, and his brother, Andre. Corey's demanding the case get reopened, and honestly, he has every reason to be skeptical. Quan's brother, Andre Munford, claims he found Quan on the floor by the kitchen. At around 3 a.m., he mentioned that Quan was behaving oddly, but was still conscious. Rather than immediately calling for assistance, Andre allegedly moved him to the couch and left him there. A few hours later, Quan's girlfriend, Amber, reportedly found him on that same couch. Instead of being alarmed or trying to wake him, she covered him with a blanket and went to take the youngins to school. Unfortunately, when she returned, it was already too late. This timeline is definitely raising eyebrows. Like, who finds someone they love un- Fuck all that. Nah, not fuck all that, but how the fuck they ain't got these niggas' phones? Let's talk about that. Remo's Reactions TV. Because that timestamp, and my forehead is shiny than a motherfucker. But look, that timestamp when bro took the picture, when Drake took the picture of him with his eyes open, see what time that was. We need all the phones, man. Fuck that. Responsive and doesn't act with urgency. As one user pointed out, Quan always said if I end up dead, it happened inside my house, it happened inside his house, and now he's gone. Corey Lamar is understandably devastated, and as you probably already know, he's been pushing for more answers. He's even waiting on the toxicology report to get a clearer picture of what really happened. Corey mm -hmm. recalls arriving at the scene as Quan was being taken away on a stretcher, and he just started praying, not knowing the full circumstances yet. And once... They went to the hospital with my son. I immediately went in the house. I never seen this before. Make sure y'all go over to uh, Hood TV, man. Shout out to Hood TV, man. Go make sure y'all go to his channel and support. I never seen this video with with his pops after like I seen a lot of content. I mean videos, but I ain't seen that. But uh. 
Yeah, this is, let's go, man. He report yeah. to get a clearer picture of what really happened. Corey recalls arriving at the scene as Quan was being taken away on a stretcher, and he just started praying, not knowing the full circumstances yet. And once they went to the hospital with my son, I immediately went in the house and started praying. Now, Corey's bond with Quan, that was something special. They were more than just father and son. They were best friends. They talked multiple times a day, and Corey was involved in every aspect of Quan's life, from his childhood in East Atlanta to his rise as a rapper. As you already know, Quan had a rough start, but even though Corey wanted him to pursue engineering, Quan followed his passion for music and became a trendsetter in Atlanta. My best friend. We spoke daily. We spoke several times. Um... The day before he passed, I looked at my phone. We were on the phone like 11 times. And let's not forget about Amber. Quan and Amber's relationship wasn't exactly smooth sailing. Word on the street is that Quan was controlling, not wanting Amber to date or even have male friends. Some people are speculating that Amber might have reached her breaking point, leading to what we're seeing now. As you probably know, Amber's 911 call is also causing suspicion. People say she sounded too calm and not trying to save someone's life. You feel me? She hit me with it, but we ain't follow up on it till like, ain't we ain't follow up on it till after some type of weight drop. Huh. Then there's the other piece of the puzzle, Quan's involvement with other women. As you know, after his passing, multiple women came forward claiming to have been in relation. So hold on, man. So, all right. So allegedly, Quan was controlling and didn't want her to have male friends. Okay, so what? What's wrong with that? Like you can agree to these terms and conditions or you can roll. You don't gotta stick around, but you did. Because of the money, the lifestyle. You may have been unhappy. But to say you don't care, you just, and you're going along with a program that's probably not right. And you ain't moving right. That shit looks crazy, man. It really does, man. It's diabolical, man. Ships with him. One even posted a photo of Quan kissing her, and others had videos. Did Amber know about this? And if she did, did it spark jealousy or anger that led to this tragic outcome? People are talking, and they have every reason to. I'm doing this just for y'all that's in the comments or whatever. Obviously, y'all can't read. I literally said that I lost a great friend. That was my friend. I've known him since March. I did a 20 v one with him, and we've been cool ever since. You don't have me on Instagram. Now, let's get into Andre's behavior, which has been nothing short of suspicious. When the police arrived, he was stumbling over his words. And if y'all don't do nothing, listen here. Spark my little clip to this. Yo, I can't understand how my forehead just keep on. Like, I just wipe this bitch off. Motherfucker, keep motherfucking shit's not in it. But nah, look, listen. Um, if y'all don't listen to nothing, man, listen to this part. Because we already been talking about the brother Dre. Moving real finicky out here. He walky out here. These creeps. Couldn't seem to keep his story straight. And here's the kicker. Andre claimed he found Quan on the kitchen floor at 3 a.m. with food still in his mouth. Instead of dialing 911, he decided to take pictures and then move Quan to the couch. Naturally, people... Instead of calling 911, he decided to take flicks, which I believe was a verification of the job being done. But who am I? I'm just Remo's Reactions TV. Yo, hit that like button too. Subscribe for me. Subscribe now. Thank you. Appreciate you. But nah, Holmes, instead of... See, I got a story real quick, right? I had appendicitis, right? Shout out to my big brother, uh, the orchestra. I came home from school. I was in college at Norfolk State University. Came home from school. My shit was fucked up. I lost mad weight. I thought it was because I stressed up in school. Came home, go to the doctors. They do it, John. Say, I got Crohn's disease. Right? 
diagnosed me with Crohn's disease. When I came home, my brother, basically, I stayed with him for them few nights. And I stayed in a, in a ball. I slept in a whole ball, like, in a fetal position. So he noticed the way, he know I toss and turn throughout. Like, that's my big brother. He, he fucking, he knows what the fuck. See me turn, he know I toss and turn throughout my shit. He see me in a ball all night, instantly called mom. Yo, mom, something ain't right with Reem. Da -da 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 -da. She said, give him chicken noodle soup, give him some ginger ale. If you don't take that, take him to the hospital. On everything I love, it wasn't Crohn's disease, it was appendicitis. But my brother knew something wasn't right with me, and he took action. Called my mama, get her advice. Mom, what should I do? He look fucked up, something don't look right. As soon as they take me to the hospital, five minutes later, I'm in surgery getting my appendix taken out. Shit blew up on the, the, the table. You know? So as siblings, we we know, man, with something wrong. Don't, don't, don't run that. But giving him serious side eye. One person even commented, all of them lying. Nobody had emotions about his passing but his dad. And that's up that he had a lot of snakes around him. And Andre's post Quan behavior didn't help his case either. He was seen wearing Quan's clothes on social media, laughing and using. Wearing clothes on social media, selling his obituary on social media, or giving them away, whatever. But the way he was, the way it sounded. It just didn't sound like, I don't know, man. I mean, maybe I'm bugging, bro. And everybody grieved different. Let's not get that misconstrued at all. You know, folk grieve different, but. Let's continue, man. Emojis in his posts. That's definitely rubbed people the wrong way, making them question his loyalty to his own brother. Speaking of shady behavior, there's another name that's come up, Kaya Brown. Initially, she wasn't mentioned, but new body cam footage shows her trying to leave when the cops arrived. She was vague, claiming she didn't know who else was there and that she was friends with someone named Kui, who might be Andre. Who are you, who are you friends with? I'm just friends with one of the people that stay in the house. Name. Quick. Quick. So you're quick. Okay. And you don't remember what time you arrived? No. I have no idea what has transpired before or after. I was just in the room. People are already speculating that she may have been called to bring in laced pills, with one user saying they all had something to do with it, even the girl that didn't want to be interviewed. As you know, the autopsy report from the Fulton County Medical Examiner's Office listed a mix of substances in Quan's system, including fentanyl, alprazolam, codeine, promethazine, and THC. It was ruled an accidental overdose, but Corey Lamar isn't convinced. He's not alone either. Another user said, if it was my child, I would be digging deeper into this. Even though he was doing substances, the person who gave him those laced pills should be found and charged. And let's not forget that Quan's history with substances wasn't exactly a secret. He even collapsed on the set of one of his music videos, sparking rumors of substance use. But fans aren't quick to point fingers at drugs alone. This whole story feels way too strange to be just another overdose. Here's another thing people are talking about. One of Amber's kids might not even be Quan's. There's been online chatter Yo, that Quan's younger son looks more like his... Hold up. He said Twan's youngest, Quan's youngest son looks more like his brother. Yo, this is just. Hit the like button, yo. Subscribe. Damn. This is Brother crazy. Andre than Quan himself. Some oh. folks are convinced there's something going on between Amber and Andre that's been kept on. People are talking about one of Amber's kids might not even be Quan's. There's been online chatter that Quan's younger son looks more like his brother Andre than Quan himself. Some folks are convinced there's something going on between Amber and Andre that's been kept under wraps for a while now. So was it really an accident or is there more going on here than we know? Corey Lamar wants answers and he's not letting this go. He's even shared before how he always worried about Quan's safety when he was on the road, constantly anxious about something going wrong. Losing Quan is truly a nightmare come to life for him. Just the other night, I was at the house thinking about going on the road. How I would have restless nights, you know, just hoping that they made it to and from safe.
Even with his strong faith, Corey admits it's hard to face each day knowing his family has been torn apart. So was it an overdose or could there be a darker, more sinister story waiting to be uncovered? Amber and Andre definitely have some questions to answer and we still don't know what role Kaya Brown might have played. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Yo, listen, the role Killer Brown played, she was, she was there to pick quick up. She either was there to pick him up. That's what I'm saying. Them phones is important, man. Them phones gonna tell everything. You feel me? Like, them shit is gonna give, it's gonna lay the shit down. But look, make sure y'all hit that like button, man. Please subscribe. Get down in the comment section, man. Give me your opinion. You know, shout out to Hood TV for the content, man. And, uh, you know, justice for Quan, man. For real. Remo's Reactions TV. Shout out to his pops, man. We rocking with you, pops. You heard me? So far, so good.